it hurt me so much that I can't find words, but you know, it hurt. Because it's not just hurting me, it hurt everyone. They have taken away the food. The tough gang. You know? I've taken away the food out of everyone's mouth. Everyone who is um we signed up officially, right? We have a thing called performing rights, musical. Performing rights is your works that you do. Whenever a radio, any radio play it, right? They're supposed to write that, what time they play that song, and you, you should be able to collect. In Jamaica, you know Jamaica runs, so. But internationally, and Jamaica started to do it too. Yeah, that, that, that's your mechanical rights. You know, your, 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 your work is, is your, 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 that you create is, is, is working for you. You know what I mean? Okay. So, Sirius Radio, Sirius Radio is, is, um, internet, is an internet radio, right? That um, it's American, and America have um, millions of listeners. You know, not like Jamaicans where our 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 um, society is 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 smaller, right? In America, we have millions and millions and millions of listeners in each state, right? And um, as an internet radio, they do the same thing. When they play a song for you, you get paid. They have a lot of. Um, a lot of different stations, you know, but one called The Joint was where they would be playing all Jamaican music, strictly Jamaican music, you know, Jamaican reggae music um, from, from the early days. And from this, it made them a special um, source of income for people in the reggae business, you know? We look forward to this more than, because in Jamaica, right? We, like from, from the 70s, from mid 60s, right? We have people who have been recording. So these people are of age right now. Some, some, some of them can't see, some of them can't walk, right? Some of them, and, 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 and put it this way, not all of these people are able to perform even if they get a chance to even go do all a show. Most of them can't, you know? A lot of them have died, but they still have families who still live and, and, and um, expect to live from, from these earnings. This station that we are talking about it's the joint from Sirius. It's, it's a major. Everyone, look, let myself too, you know? Yearly, we would, like every quarter, they, they, they pay out, right? And it used to be significant, you know, to each of us. Uh, and now, what Tough Gong has done, you know, it, it's, it, it, it's, 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 um, it really hurts, you know, and it, it, it hurts everyone in the business, you know. When Bob Marley was singing songs of freedom, if Bob Marley was here, he would not do what, what Tough Gun um, administrators have done. Bob would not have done that. But Bob did not leave a written statement and tell him to do that. Bob, if Bob was here, this would not happen, you know? But we have people who are doing this administration. They have no love for others but themselves alone. It hurt me so much that I can't find words, but, you know, it hurt. Because it's not just hurting me, it hurt everyone. They have taken away the food, the tough gang, you know? I've taken away the food out of everyone's mouth. You tell me? Because what they did, they, they, they sat there and realized that this was a, a little mean of earning for, 
for reggae people. That this, this, the joint was making money for all of its, uh, the, the whole reggae fraternity. You know what I mean? And they selfishly went and, and took that away from us and put just Bob Marley music right there. Which is not just hurting just us alone either too, you know. It's hurting everyone who loves reggae music too, you know. Because when you could go on your radio as a person, turn on your radio and, and hear all form of reggae music, no, no, you're, 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 you're projected to one thing, Bob Marley and his content, you know. That put a major dent in the business, you know, and not just financially, you know, but even spiritually, because you're driving down the road and you turn on the radio and turn on the joint, you could be listening to any and everybody in the business. You understand? Yeah. This is, this is what I'm called red eye, cup viciousness. Bob Marley, um, tough gun, um, business, they make millions of dollars without touching the joint every year. Bob Marley or Tough Gang, whichever way we want to, we should say Tough Gang, Bob is not here. Tough Gang music. Tough Gang is, is um, music, right? Makes millions of dollars of royalties every year without touching this little thing that we are going for us. The people in the business of who sang all these songs, I know Bob Marley alone did that work within all that time and to make reggae music what it is. All these people, they talk about John Holt, Halton Ellis, the, the, the bigger head from back that then. John Holt, Halton Ellis, um, Ken Booth, Delroy Wilson, these are the, these are the people who, who, who through hunger and famine and everything, man, create all this this music too, you know, to help to make this big business an established business, this music business, and not, and, and not just, you know, one person thing, you know, and and we were not fortunate. All these people, Dennis Brown, and they they have passed away, but they they have children still. Like Bob have him children, them have children too. Them have mouths they left to feed too, you know? And when you come selfishly and do that and take, yeah man, it, it's greed. Red eye and bad mind and, and no feelings. Fathers, you know? And what they have done, they have put a dent in the name of Tough Gang. When Tough Gang to the world was meant what Bob Marley wanted it to mean was hopefulness, you don't know, joy, yeah, you know, you know, prosperity, all the goodness, all the positive things. They have put a negative dent right now on the name of Tough Gun. Yeah, you know, because all of these people, they are suffering right now because of that. That's a major feeling thing that they don't take away. Major food. And you know what I'd like to, before I go, what I'd like to know because Bob have left some kids who are into music too. Them sing. And I'd like them to do an interview or an interview of them and hearing what they have to say about this. I'd love to hear their input on this issue. Yeah, man. You know? Yeah, man. It, it's a disgrace on the name of Tough Gun. Bob Marley did not want this. This is not a part of Tough Gun's legacy that should have been there. And until they clear this up, and they need to do it now. They need to do that now. You know? 
because they don't need this. We need this more than them. You know? You don't take businessmen and corrupt the lives. Because what they've done, what they've done, they've, they've, made, a, they've made themselves a part of Babylon right now. A part of oppression. Depression. Suppression. This of them there, you know, right now. Because that is what they do. Taking away the food from the artists. All artists that is in reggae business have suffered from this move. And they know what they were doing. They know what they were doing. Yes. And they did it anyway. They need to clear this up. Our tough gang name shall forever be in the, in the name amongst the oppressors. And that was not Bob Marley's intention. Every singer, every, and I talk about myself alone, every singer will sing reggae music. I not talk about dance hall. Dance hall up on the moon. Every singer will sing culture music of, is suffering from this move. Yeah, and tough gang need to clear this up now. They have, they have, they have done this over a year, I don't know. And I'll forever say this. The administration of Bob Marley need to be more conscious of themselves and, and right this wrong that they have done. They need to do this. Because the name of Bob Marley now, because a tough gang, Bob Marley made a tough gang, you know. I him do it. Me know Bob Marley before all of them kids them. I mean, no, said Bob Marley would not have done this. He wouldn't do this. He never tell nobody to do this. You know? The administration of Bob Marley need to stand up and acknowledge what they have done. I want the whole world to hear this. It, it, it is not just stifling just in the music and not taking just the food alone too, you know. They have moved that station away from the public people who love reggae music. So they have done an injustice, not just to the artists them alone, that they take away the food, but they, use the, they remove the music so the pleasure of the people is distorted and moved away. And until they right the wrong, this wrong. And I want to hear the youth them, you know, because they're not for going like, like them not know about this too, you know. Because they're a musician. And if they weren't, they, they, they never named Mali, they would be in this. I suffer with, like I and all the other musicians and singers who are suffering right now. The only reason why they are not because they named Mali. Them you there, them need to talk up, and them need to talk to Sidella. And them need to straighten this out, man, and make the poor people eat them liquor food.